Thank you so much for joining us for our continuation of the Lost Minds of Phandelver D&D campaign. We've been playing live on Twitch roughly around midnight PST on Friday nights. If you ever want to join us and see the action unfold live, I have a link to my Twitch page in the video description below. The following video has been edited uh, just to cut down uh, on the long pauses, the fiddling with Rule 20, the rules looking up, and a lot of the chat interactions, so it's just straight D&D, or as close to it as I can get it. Uh, so if you want all that other extra goodness, come stop by the stream. Alright, now let's get into it. We have restrained the two goblins, uh, and it ended with there being quite a commotion inside the keep. <clears throat> and we ran away from the scene. Uh, well, you guys wouldn't have been run far if you were carrying two extra bodies. How far would we be able to get with the extra gobbos? Um, I mean, if you if you were trying to carry a couple extra goblins and you guys were really trying to rush, I, I would pro it'd probably bring you down to half speed to carry two extra bodies with you. Let's try to get as far as we can. No, by Something. all means, stop, stop, and make skull cuts. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll make them like. All right, where we're at right now. Like, welcome to our arts and crafts. We're using <laughs> your uh, your kin skulls to give us. I got extra stuff. macaroni for macaroni. <laughs> yeah. right, we're gonna... I guess we're just gonna run as far as we can and hope that nobody's <clears> chasing us. So you guys have you guys are fleeing the castle. Which direction are you guys going? The direction we came from, probably. Yeah, probably more towards the west. Yeah. That's where we came from. We came from like southwest, I think. We're not going too far away, just far enough to where we won't be chased. We're not like going all the way back to the card, I don't think. <clears throat> oh, did I unmute the party? Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna leave our, our, our <laughs> Oh man, I, that headphone cord has been really bugging me. Just um, so we can relax for a little bit and not get arrows shot at us. So, I mean, are you guys. Because you guys are headed, so you guys are staying in the forest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Getting like a fair distance away. I don't really know how I would like accurately portray the distance, but I don't know why this is shaped. Far enough away that we'd think we'd be safe from uh, uh, being attacked. You said you guys were running. Okay, so you guys, you guys are tromping through the forest. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you guys, you guys don't see. Uh, you, you guys want to roll me perception checks? See if you see anybody following you. I sure can. How many people? Like everyone? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Right. Oh. <coughs> yeah. I don't, I don't as, see anyone, yeah. guys. As Elaine is running. He doesn't even see a, a low-hanging tree branch, and he smashes his face into it. it gives him, gives him a nice little, nice little bump on his head. I'm down to 27 health. No, you didn't take real damage. You just took cosmetic damage. It was a mental damage. Cosmetic damage. You got a black eye. Uh, okay, oh. that's a two. A two. Oh. Yeah. Oh so. Yeah, oh, Ronam hits the same brain. So. So Ronam doesn't see Elaine run into this tall or th this low hanging branch, uh, and Ronam also just smashes right into it. Uh, that's Ronam, not even a, that's not even like a, a running check. That's like a looking around check. I know you weren't yeah, looking where you're going. Uh, you're just taking cosmetic damage. You just have a little black eye. What's this? Our DM wants to TPK us immediately. Yep, by lo by low, low hanging ball. tree branch. <laughs> All right, we're probably got, we're not <coughs> followed, guys. I trust me. I can see part. I can perfectly fine. I can see. Give a black eye. <laughs> are we running? We're running, carrying our prisoners. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there, they're struggling. Squirming. Ray, let they us, can't do anything. Let us. Let us go. No. Oh, wait. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> where's Where's Droop? He's back at the castle, probably. What? So you, you got tricked, loser. No, no. Once we're a pretty decent way away, we'll probably like settle down and with our prisoners and uh, time up or something. How long are we running for, though? How far are you guys going? 
uh, enough. Oh, I, no. Is that like one one foot, two two feet? About a foot and a half. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys are still right at the edge of the tree line. <laughs> yeah, we just <laughs> took a step. <laughs> guys, we're safe. Find us. <laughs> we'll never see us here. Right, it's just uh, so we can, like, we're, wall shape and stuff. Yeah, we're probably like. Uh, a mile or two away, we'll run a decent yeah. chunk. So you guys have gotten away with the prisoners. Uh, you seemingly don't see anybody behind you. Or around. Alright. Uh, What's the plan? So We're gonna tie him up with Sire's rope, I guess. Gary! Uh, do I have my rope? Erebus said he would be fine using his rope. So <coughs> yeah. I guess we'll just tie him up. Uh, do you want to be the one to tie them up, Erebus? It's your rope. Sure, I certainly can. Make me a sleight of hand check to see how good you tie him up. We'll sit down across from them <clears throat> and be like, hey, you're going to tell us what we want to know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does easier than I thought. So how many of you, how many of there are you? Uh, can I have my fingers to count? No. <laughs> no. Ah, shit. You, you, can, you can use my fingers and I'll hold up my fingers for him. And, uh, <laughs> Raise one as he counts, and then raise my fingers as he counts. Uh, all right, so roll me a roll me a intimidation check. I got you. My charisma is or, through the roof. Or persuasion check. Your choice on how you want to go about this. Twenty four. Oh god. I I'm a very like, yeah. I am not an intimidating kind of guy. Uh, so, kind of uh, guy. <laughs> so he's just like oh okay I'll t look. There's a there's a lot of us. I'm not I don't know I'm not very good at counting. Uh, is there a dwarf in there? Yes. <laughs> I don't like that. That's all I wanted to know. I Great. Can I go? No. no. You you can go when we're done. I said I said that's all I wanted to know. My friends here might have questions for you. Uh, does anybody else want to ask them anything? I can't. Yes. Is there anything special about this castle? Any secret rooms that you know of? Secret rooms? It's just an old crumbly ass castle. I think the deer is very curious. They want to ask you something. Uh, they're they're also like staring at the deer and they're like, "What? Can we have? Can we have the deer?" No. I, uh, no. We're, please, we're so hungry. This deer is my friend. I don't. We'll, like we'll give you food if you tell us what we want. <laughs> I have plenty of food in my bag. Okay. Well, I can take well, out some, like some rations just to yeah. show them that it went up. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, they start to drool. Take out some rations for the goblins. All right, uh, if anybody else Wait. has any questions, uh... is your leader is your leader in that castle as well? Yes. What's his name? King Kroll. Okay. Is the black spider in that castle? The black spider? No. Do you know where they are? The black spider? No, I've only I've only heard the name being talked about. Do you want to ask them anything, Ronam the Intimidator? Mm. So what what do we know so far? Did, how many fingers on, did he count of yours? I, I don't think he can know. count. I'm not very count. good at counting. Mo said there's a lot. More, more than the fingers you have, I think. I think that's a lot, guys. It's <laughs> a lot of goblins. Mm, okay. Is and it more said... than all of the fingers than of all of us combined, or...? Hey, what about, what about our toes? Gobo. <laughs> we scouted the perimeter of your castle and we found two entrances on either side. Where do they go? Where do the side stair go, stairs go and where does the, the hidden hole go? The hidden path. Man, they go inside. Where inside? Where? Uh, the, the one up the stairs is probably going to be locked. I have a boot for the door. What's Don't on worry. the other side of that door? Uh, just a just a crumbly hallway. You can get to the kitchen from that way. Okay. And what about the secret? What about the path to the north? The it kind of just goes into an old crumbly crumbly room. There's some there's some supplies in there. I think we should go to the crumbly room. Where, 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 where in this where in this fortress is the dwarf being kept? Uh, he's, be, he's being kept uh, with the king. He's with the king. Yes. And where's the king in the castle? 
uh, in the in the nice room. Where's the, where is this? Nice at, at like the the back. And I'm assuming the dwarf nice is still alive. Uh, I just uh, I don't really know. I mean, I just I'm just kind of they don't really tell me much. Have you been in the nice room to be able to see the dwarf? Uh, no, I don't. I don't go in there. Wait, why do they know. call it the nice room? It's probably the only room in the castle that doesn't look like a piece of garbage. Yeah, it's just a, from what from what I've heard, I hear that it's it's not even crumbly. Imagine not living in rubbles of stone. Ah, so lucky. Well, uh, if you guys are still Welcome around, back, done with the castle. Uh, <coughs> whatever's left. You're gonna give us the castle? I mean, does anybody else? Well, I mean, I don't want some crumbly old castle in the middle of nowhere. Does anybody else want a castle in the middle of nowhere that doesn't even stand together? Not really. I'm think, but no. <clears throat> I mean, these goblins do need a place to live. We'll just let them do whatever they want. If nobody wants them. Just don't go attacking anyone. Yeah. Goblin. Which of the towers and are being manned by guards? Which? The north or the south tower? In the front. Uh, I mean, there's <clears throat> there's goblins all over all over the towers. I mean, there's there's definitely <clears throat> goblins in the the two front towers. All right. <clears throat> so we're not going in the front. Nope. I think the the underground hole might be good. It might lead us somewhere up. Yeah. If we look around down there. Thank you well, so much uh, for the host, Zero. If no one else has anything to ask, then real quick, all do right, I goblin. believe? Do I believe anything that they're saying? Uh, roll me uh, insight check. Uh, you feel like you feel like they're on the level. You feel like they're they're big chilling with you. <laughs> they're big chilling. All right, all right, goblins. Here's the deal. We're not gonna kill you. We are gonna yeah. leave you here. Wait, 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 wait. We'll the, give you the food wait, and wait. we'll come oh, back. Okay, for we're it. waiting. And the big one said we could go. Uh, I'm the other big one. And I yeah, he's the second big one. <laughs> this and is a democracy? Uh, wait. <laughs> well, and here's what's going to happen. We vote to be free. <laughs> and that's two votes. You, you're hostages. You're, you going have to be, you're going to be bound. And you're going to be gagged. And we are going to go storm this castle. And if we live, we will come back and release you. And if and then we you can have die to... in there, then you will die of starvation out here in the middle of the uh, sound good? No, that sounds awful. At the very uh, least, since they have given us information, well, we should probably like let them eat. They're starving yeah. right now. I'll bring out one so ration. So this this is how this I'll is give going the other to one a ration. So it's in your best interest for us to survive. So if there's anything else you know that might help us survive and then help you survive, you might want to fill us in. Uh. Uh, and they, they're gonna look at each other. <clears throat> uh, and you see one of them kind of, uh, like, what, can we eat before you go? Yeah, you can, you can eat this time. But <clears throat> just know it might be your last meal. Uh, Me and Erebus will give them each one of our rations. Uh, okay, they, they, they're tied up so they can't, are you like holding it into their mouth so they can eat it? I will yeah, feed it to them like it. a baby <laughs> bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like, what the, f I'm not that hungry, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just hold it up so it's... Same. Okay, they eat it with their weird gnarled, craggy teeth. <clears throat> Adorable. By any chance, mm -hmm. do you know if the other goblins in here despise this king or uh are you all actually kind of okay-ish with him i mean nobody really despises king girl he's he's all right although sometimes he puts bugbears in charge and we're not a big fan of that but uh i love bugbears i don't know he's 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 strong so we follow him uh well who's the who's the second strongest in the castle uh in the castle or any, anywhere around here. Who's the second strongest uh, person in charge other than King Girl? Well, the the second in the command is is not even... They're they're on a, a raiding party uh, fighting uh, to go attack some kobolds. Good to know. 
Mm, so, okay. so their main defense force is not here currently. Uh, but before you go, before you go, because we don't want to be left here to starve. Uh, there is uh, King King Roll does keep uh some sort of monster uh in the the one of the southern towers. The southern tower. What does this monster look like? Uh, it's it's kind of like a like a bear, but it's got like the face of a bird. Has Correct. have you ever heard King Grow call it by any kind of name, or anyone call it by a name? Uh, he calls it Snowflake. Ranger yeah. Druid, is this something that you're familiar with? Is this something? Uh, you guys, uh, you guys might have come across one in the forest. Uh, if you guys want to roll me nature or history checks nature it is that one um <clears throat> nah one nah, nah. Uh, it <sighs> Erebus you, you've never heard of it uh oh. s... what <laughs> I guess Loki's heard of it <laughs> yes <laughs> He does they, have a plus three to nature. Right. Snow Lou and Erebus are specifically from this forest. Which is why I have them. No, I just oh, lived in a true. forest. Um, he lived in some random forest somewhere. Yep. I uh, saw one walking down the street. <laughs> he, was just, he was getting groceries. Wearing a top hat. You guys aren't too sure, based off the goblin description, what it could be. Alright. <clears throat> The four hedge, I'm like Hydra. Then he said a bear and a oh, the... bird. I'm like Griffin. <laughs> but the the well, Jurassic was a joke. Like that, so. Um, and and there's also there's something that lurks in sort of the middle of the keep. It doesn't really bother us. Well, what is that? Uh, but it's a I. It's like a. Mm, it's like a snake. It it belongs to one of. One of the oh, goblins. Oh no. No, oh, okay. Not the spake. The snake? Spake. Did we say snake or spake? Do you know what goblin it belongs to? Uh, yeah, of course. It belongs to Lupo. Sorry. Do you know where this, where we could find this Lupo at? Does he, like, hang out anywhere specific? Or does he work somewhere in the castle? Uh, usually he's sending to, uh, to the shrine. The Where's shrine? the shrine? I don't know, of course. There's a shrine. Shrine to what? Uh, you know, all hail Maglubiet. Bless you. Yeah. What? And you, and you see them kind of stop, like, look down and mutter, like, all hail Maglubiet under the breath. Right. Who's Maglubiet? Don't anger them. Uh... Don't anger their god. <laughs> Who's Maglubiet? Who's yes. Maglubiet? Oh my god, you've done it now. Let's leave. I had to know. Who's Maglubiet? He is, is only the bestest god there ever was. What does he do? I just walk away. Like, nothing. Okay. More like, what Goblin. doesn't he do? Goblin. This, yes? This creature that's kept in the South Tower, is it trained? Or is it something wild that is just kept as a weapon? Uh, his name's Snowflake. I don't really know if it's trained, to be honest. It doesn't. It doesn't really. It's it's kind of just kept in there. Let's assume it's wild thing. Well, he named it Snowflake. Yeah, it, it may be named, but doesn't mean they trained it. <clears throat> All right, Goblin. Another question. Is there any schedule to? The watch on the towers. Is there any? Is there any window? Is there any time when the watch is being changed that we might be able to enter? Oh, that'd be smart. Or do you guys just hang out? We kind of just hang out. Hey, oh, it would be nice to have a break every once in a while. Well, we can we can talk about that when we come back. <laughs> help you figure that out. If we live. <clears throat> uh, well, if we come back alive, uh, I don't think anyone wants the castle, so you guys can 
do whatever you want with it. Uh, I guess that's everything. Mm. You guys, you guys will be comfortable here, right? I, I would be a lot more comfortable if we weren't tied up. Uh, no, no right. deal. And then... Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll be back. Don't worry. We gave you food. You'll survive. Uh... All right. Get, just gag their mouths with something. I think they'll be fine. No, no, no. With what? What are we even have to gag their mouths? Can't mouth have with? them shouting for help. For help. They're, we're we're like two miles away. Now. Does anyone have a length of cloth? Just tear uh... off your rowboat and put your rowboat in their mouth. No, I need. Are you gonna save the rowboat? Maybe. Uh. I don't have anything on me. I what are the use... goblins wearing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, God. I'm glad you asked. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you are faced with imminent gobble junk. Oh no. We were holding that. Did we used paper. That doesn't sound too comfortable. What was the what? what was the question? Uh, what are the goblins wearing? Oh, uh, uh just just kind of like rusted, rusted armor. Sort of the same stuff that you've seen them all wear. Right. You have uh, cloth beneath the. Do they have any like cloth or fabric? Or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean they've got some like dirty, dirty, dirty clothes. That's fine. I, I I rip off pieces of their own clothing and like. Hey, what? That's my nicest shirt. I don't I care. Use, I use it to stuff their mouth. I don't know. Oh, no. uh, okay. I'll buy you a new shirt. Don't worry. I'm okay. <laughs> Keep this in your well, mouth. Well, we're not. This is a small price to pay for not being dead. I promise. I'll get you a and, shirt. And if we and if we come back and we hear you guys hollering, then all deals are off. If we come back <laughs> so and you're you, yelling, so you I'm not nice getting you a quiet. shirt. Okay, they get quiet. They get quiet. They want that shirt. All right. Let's nope, go, I guys. guess we're gonna stay yeah, here. Go we, we prop them up. We prop them up nice and comfy against the tree. Should, should we put them somewhere where like a wolf won't eat them if it comes by? I was thinking about that. No, like, yeah, that's fine. Branch. Just leave. No, they're. They're helpless. Yeah. Alright, put them in a tree. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put you guys in this tree. This is for your own safety. <laughs> we don't want you guys getting eaten while we're gone. <sighs> we're so <laughs> concerned about them. They're not our babies. Are, are you guys gonna I like... Out loud. They're not our babies. They're trying their best. No, I don't care. <laughs> we're gonna put them like, a, a far enough where like an animal can't reach them on like a sturdy branch. Are you guys gonna secure them to the tree? You guys just got them propped up. They can't really balance. They're all tied up. We're we're securing Who, these. <coughs> who's good at tying knots? I think Erebus is good. He got like a thirty last time. So I can certainly Erebus tie him. You know, uh, we did that as the sleight of hand. Good enough. Okay. Mm, uh, so right. you, they, you they, uh, seem to be there, secured. They seem so to be secured in, to the tree. So they're in like the nook. They're in the nook of a tree, like what? I don't know, like six feet up or something like that. Just enough so like if a wolf comes by, it can't like rip their rip them to pieces. Now you guys stay here. I'm not causing any trouble. <laughs> we'll come back for you. I promise. No, we won't. Don't listen to him. He eats I'm, people. They're gonna, go. they're gonna get forgot I'm about. Not... I, they're gonna forget about him. I already know it. Go way to the castle. The north. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna okay. go around the north of the castle. So based on the like... intel, let's. What do we have to work with? So we have a we have a northern approach. We have a, we have a wild creature we could possibly use to our advantage if yeah. we're able to set it yeah. loose. It might cause some havoc to our benefit. <laughs> I would so like the... to check this northern hole first. Yeah, yeah I think that's like the best creatures and Fairly like creatures in one of the southern uh, towers. Yeah, one of the southern right, towers. I think our best bet is to enter from the north and then try and make our way south. Yeah. And if, if there's nothing here, we'll go into the south exit. I believe you also said the king is somewhere towards the back end of this, so probably yeah. around here or... Watch us just, just go through this hole and he's just like in here. Oh god. Just just what are you doing? Just, all just, that, all right, I want you all to know right now that two prisoners is plenty. From here on out, it's... it's <laughs> we, we on just site. Go for it. 
Except that one guy, whatever that goblin was, that owns the, the spake. <laughs> We're making our way back to the castle. We're going in. Not getting stabbed on the way these back. These goblins have no coordination, so it doesn't even matter what time of day. We're just Has it been it. an hour though? Oh yeah, you guys. They said you guys Probably. ran for an hour out outward. Bye, pistachio. Oh. Are you are you still a deer? I'm not. Oh, no, that's blue. more of an hour. We got him back. <laughs> I thought the deer took him. Um, are we gonna attempt to stealth our way into here just to see if we don't get? Uh, of course. I think we have to try and stealth our way in, right? Uh, I wait, I'm gonna wait, like wait, wait back wait, here and I will rush in. Can if we? You guys is there stop. any way? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I know we spent like a million years planning last session, but let's spend a little bit more time. Can we? Do something to cause a distraction out towards the front. Um, do we have something that will explode? Do we have any explosives? Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what. I have <laughs> oh my oil. god! I have oil. Please. Can we set? Mm. Some, can we set we, some we, of the we trees can put on a fire or like, oh, along the front? No, we can't I burn a forest down. Just one tree is fine. It's gonna. They're all touching. Why can't I delete then these? Then the goblins put it out. Okay, look. So what? I think what we can do is we can like have a bunch of oil laid out. And there we, we go. Can, like, Put a torch on it, and somebody with press the digitation or like uh, druidcraft, like Snowman has, can light it, and it'll blow up. Thank you for the lurk, mischievous. I appreciate it. Like a yeah. Uh, I don't think we can. Are they gonna make explosives? Conclusion: They make a goblin scream. Uh, save whatever your level one spell slots are. If you can't do it with a cantrip, that's a cantrip. That's a my minor illusions is a cantrip. Right. <clears throat> so we are putting oil around the tree line and laying a torch on it. Or snow only. To the well, yeah. you want me west to up here to the western side. What is the range on Druidcraft? Uh, let me see. I'm just gonna do this. What? Oh, well, I mean, I mean, that's fine. Uh, we, we're gonna be like... Are they gonna the light the forest on fire? So we'll be like making our way up to the north. You want me to just jerry-rig a torch onto one of my arrows and... Oh, that could, well, well, well we can just that. leave a torch on it. Yeah. And we like pour it out. I might see like the fire. Wait, don't we have some like oil we could douse an arrow yeah. to it? I didn't. I have out. oil for this lantern that I have. We can just pour out. We, we have oil. We have oil. Mm. Or would it be more effective to like rig it up like a Molotov and just throw it? What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. We don't have any cloth though. You know what? Uh, screw it. You old Molotov. You know what? We've already tried that once, and we only got like two goblins out of it. Maybe we should just go in. Yeah. <coughs> let's just, let's just I think let's just go in. They're let's just, just <coughs> vicious at that point. You can still prep that you old Molotov, just in case. Yeah, if one of you guys just wants to carry a firebomb. Well, what is the range on Minor Illusion? Uh, 30 feet. Uh, while we're going in, maybe you can like cover this with Minor Illusion, as if like with something that would look like natural i guess i don't know so like they can't see us go in i don't um, think i can do if it's 30 that. feet away you can like put something there oh you want me to put something there 30 feet away just to like cover the arrow slip so they can't see us and then like have it go away as we uh... i mean it would get suspicious at that point well i'm trying to think of something that would look natural I mean, I could see if I could, like, make uh, I Well, I can make an image. I could probably, like, make a background image of what's behind us. <laughs> you could just make a background part. image of, like, the open field, and then we'll just... Yeah. Like, it's, it's like when you put a piece of paper and it's, like, a picture on a camera. Yeah. It's the old Windows XP background of just the hill. <laughs> Ye old Windows XP. I, I guess that's fine. So we're gonna tr attempt to... Well, you got... I'll hang back. Uh, because I have terrible stealth, so I probably shouldn't go first. Alright, uh, whoever, whoever's stealthiest, go first, and we'll go in one at a time. I'll go last. Do you want me to cast my armor illusion now? Yeah. Uh, when you, I don't think you can reach it from here, like, uh, cause we're like 60 feet out, I think. No, I was like, so you, have to go <clears throat> you guys are, tw you guys are 25 feet off of the map, essentially. Oh, well, you, yeah, you can reach it then. Minor illusion. So what are you I, putting there? What did you drop in nothing? What is the? What did you so, drop in chat? It's just like a blank placard. It's just it's just the name. <laughs> just use your imagination, DM. Use my so, imagination. Okay, he he puts up a picture of you guys sneaking in. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's 
It's a, it's a, it's a forest, it's like the empty forest behind us, with the sun setting. So you get like that nice reddish orangish hue. It turns out through. it's like morning. So okay, no what time setting. of day is it? No, what time of day is it actually? You should probably just try to like make it as accurate as to what it looks like now. So as you guys. Yeah, probably. There, you know. It's midday. <laughs> it's like noon. It's oh, good. okay. Never mind. Whoa! How long have I been? <laughs> a sunset. Never mind. You guys, you guys do <laughs> notice there are two arrow slits pointing outside. Where? Yes, like, that's where it, I covered the image. That's where the one? image. What? So what are you covering? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm covering up this arrow slit and this arrow slit, if possible. You can only do can one. one. But I mean, I like this one, one, one can't even see us. Oh yeah, then the then I'll do this one, and I'll just see what's ever behind us. So we'll just see a normal forest, normal day, normal forest. Day I don't think at. you can do that. I mean, pop pop the like whole a... thing in chat for me. No, oh, you can God. create an yeah. image. I think it's an object. It says you can create an object, image, uh, or sound. Yeah, sound or an image of an an image of an object. What if the oh. object is like a picture of like? Don't you like a... <laughs> objects? Singular. No. And trees. Right. So okay. The sound continues unabated through the duration. So you, uh, let's see. Such as a chair, a muddy footprint, or a small chest. It can't be any larger than a five foot cube. The image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. Physical interaction with the image. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I, I still, like, don't understand, like, what is the what is the plan here? So we're going to cover the arrow slit so they can't see us clean. But of, like, with one... With one that's, that, that's what we're thinking of. Yeah. Because... Maybe, what, what, if, what if there's, like, a giant leaf that blows up? That covers it up instead of time it takes you guys to, like, get in there. Or we could probably, like, sneak to a blind spot, probably, like, somewhere around here. We could just wrap around. I mean, that could work. What is the range of the sleep spell, though? I mean, that would be kind of a waste of spells, not. Yeah. Well, it would. What if you just make an image of like a wall in front of this, the arrow slip? I think that would be fine. <laughs> a wall that sure. wasn't there before. We'll, yeah. we'll use a wall. We'll make it a wall. Oh, I guess we're making it a wall. Okay. Quick, now's your chance. Cool. You create a an image of a wall blocking the arrow slit. Now's yeah. our chance. Go. Who's are you, first? are you guys sprinting in? Are you? Uh, oh, we're stealthing in. Okay. Uh, I'm not going in first, so it was somebody sneaky who did the Loki. Sixteen. Right, I guess Loki's going first. Right, there. I guess the, the mage is going first. No, the mage is not going first. You rolled, you first, rolled you stealth. Roll first. So now you're going first. Right. Get in there. Okay. Well, we oh. get in there. Uh, you guys see Loki step forward uh, and starts walking across the clearing. Get in there, Erebus. Make sure he doesn't get stabbed. Uh, and you make it to... Oh, my. <laughs> right. Very sneaky to that. Erebus is going second. So we, we walk in through the... The hole. So you, you're walking hole. up to there? Okay. Yeah. So we're going there. Uh, as you kind of walk up to it, you see that the side is sort of covered by a dusty canvas. Uh, it's kind of made to look like the surrounding zones. Okay, I'm oh, going yeah. in, oh, but I'm thinking I should roll investigation. Uh, so as you're kind of like staring at this canvas, kind of poking it, uh, Erebus, uh, Sneed Erebus is, give him a push. is behind you. Uh, surprising you, because he was so quiet. Oh, Jesus Erebus. fucking Christ, Erebus. Don't do that. Oh, you did you yell that? Huh? You yell that? No, I yelled yes. it quietly. I as soon as he starts to open his mouth, I'm it's called well his uh, snout shut. <laughs> you have a snout. <laughs> you have a snout too. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. All, right, all right, all right, I'm going next. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's. I feel like we, we should have just sent Aramis and Snow up to make sure we aren't gonna like die. It's fine. I don't mind going. That could have been worse. Uh, okay, so you, are you guys moving inside? Or you guys you guys are all just kind of standing there staring at this? Get in. 
Go we're in. Going in. Uh, yes, go in. I'm trying to go in. Break it down. It's like rip it. It's a piece of paper. Push him, Erebus. <laughs> don't, don't, don't push me, Erebus. <laughs> the dragon's inside. Oh, oh. Much. Hey, you're the one who wanted to go in first. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Storage room. Uh, Am I okay on 11? I, I make my start when you come over. Yeah, you start making your way up. Uh, your your instruments are kind of a little rattling around a little bit in your bag. Right, go, Snow Luke, go. I'm going in. That one. <coughs> Juicy. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right, you jingle jingle motherfucker. <laughs> roll. <Make your> stealth <laughs> roll. Disadvantage. I, I feel like I should just like wait out here. Just uh, plain roll get song that thick ass room. in here, boy. Bring the well, bacon. What if I just go cause a distraction at the front so you guys can go in? But we need you. Well, you guys can't chat about it now. You're either going to stay oh, outside yeah. or you're going to go in. Your choice. Oh, We're already right, I'm, I'm going in. I'm going Do in. It. Hold on. Disadvantage. One, if I get a nat one, you guys have the opportunity. You're going to get like a 17. Bet. Yo! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you sneaky bastard. Bet. I've never had it. been so sneaky in you, you just, boy armor. <laughs> He's got the Scooby-Doo tiptoes going. Yeah, you, you see Elaine tiptoeing across the field, like, oh, so slowly. Not a single bit of his armor even shifts. Uh, and you guys all crowd into this. It's a disadvantage, too. And man said you're going to get a 17 on and it was a disadvantage. <laughs> so good. Uh, so inside this inside this tower, uh, you can see it's almost completely collapsed. Uh, the ground floor still has a little open space. Uh, you see rotting crates and ancient barrels uh, uh, that now seem empty, uh, where maybe once provisions were stored. Uh, there's a heavy curtain that blocks a crumbling area to the south, and an intact door that leads east. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> so where are we going, guys? There has to be a reason why it's the front door. I mean, they had a piece of paper on it. They're goblins. They probably thought that was good enough. Probably. Mm. Yeah. Should we go to the curtain or the door? I say curtain. We can, maybe we can at least take a peek uh, into through the curtain. Is this the curtain? Is this where it's at? Yeah, the curtain. Oh, Sorry, they can't hear me. Jacket. What? Curtain's here. Curtain's in front of uh, Elaine. Yeah. Oh, can you guys not see the ping? Oh, there it is. I didn't, oh, yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, there what, what, is, what is this one? Door. That's a door. door. Okay. I want to take a peek in the curtain. Yeah, just take a little peek. Should probably like remove the wall outside that was there. Did you just to, like? Oh, it's gone. I mean, that's only there for a oh, minute. Okay. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm gonna look in very stealthfully with my 17. Okay. Okay. So we know we know he's at the back. We. I don't think we want to rush in against. The big uh, so yeah, you got the curtain just reveals way to another part of the crumbly room. Uh, you see another curtain straight across from you. Uh, if you if you make your way into the room, you'd be able to see the two doors. Right. <clears throat> should I go in? Or should we check the door first? Wait, we could we can we take a peek through the door. No, yeah. nice room. Ronam, look in the door. No. I, I, we're going in then. Uh, now you see the uh, doors. I'm going to take a peek in this curtain. I'm looking through it very <laughs> quietly. So I use my big orc brain and, and I say, so this must be the whole, this must lead to the, the the stairs at the other end. That means there's a kitchen around here somewhere. We got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's doors here, here, and if you didn't see it, here i'm gonna go in and look down this hallway since i probably couldn't see it from up here and then uh, take a note that there's two doors and make my way back all right i jet i gesture towards this door i think we should try this one should i go first maybe we should see if, uh, if there's any uh, i doubt there's any traps but maybe we should at least take a one that's why i'm going first yeah, we don't search for traps. We just let the paladin go first. <laughs> I have resistance to fire, so if it's a fire trap, I'll be fine. All right, let's 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 take a formation. Does someone want to bring up the rear? Actually, you know Probably what? Let me, let me bring up the rear. 
I'm going in. Oh. And then I can reach you guys with. I can reach most of you with stuff. All right. I am opening the door slowly to look in. <laughs> uh. Okay. So you you open the door. Uh. I think this is it, guys. You open the door, and you're greeted with hold sword. by some friends. Yay. Uh, Yo, oh my god. Please this hold. Is the wrong room. Is this the nice room? <laughs> this is the bedroom. It's the wrong room. Throw down, you're bad at picking doors. They're, 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 pro every room probably has goblins in it. You you're gotta you're pick bad at picking that. doors. Oh, me if I was close the door on them. <laughs> but this fine. We don't even know if they see us yet. Oh, oh, they they see you as you oh open the door. Uh, so Why are they so and you are greeted by. Let me wait. Do I not have pictures? Why? Are, oh my! Why are they so oh, hobos? Hobo. They're not just hobos. They're <coughs> not the hobos. Some strong, hobos. some strong looking goblins. Not the hop, not the hobos. I don't know what Does else. No hobos. Well, I don't do I see them? Attack him. Is it just Elaine seeing those? Uh, yeah, Elaine opens the door and he's greeted by two hot goblins. I'm gonna, like, wave at them if they see me. Uh, alright, well then they draw their swords. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna roll for initiative. Alright, can I, like, move in before we roll? <coughs> no. Probably not. No. Well, what, if, what if I walk in and wave? Just stay there and clog <laughs> up the door. This always works out for us, anyways. <laughs> 11, not bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind of hey. makes sense. Hey. Getting the bad roll out. Getting the bad roll out. Yo, 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 yo. Don't worry. I, I always knew stealth is just not gonna work. It's fine. We, we have a plan. We go. We planned for like an hour, and we went in and we, the first door we opened. We, we just, as long the as whole plan no, as long as we can stealth for like the first thirty seconds. You're at least you're at least got inside. Yeah, that's that's honestly that's all. I, <laughs> I, I knew the rest was going to be a total right. cluster. So. I'm not going last. I'm going last. No, Snow no. is going last. No, who Give her a you know uh, Ronob goes first. Hey. First knob? Probably helps if I have the uh, actual sheet open, huh? Okay. Oh god. I... How many spell slots do I got? Too many. Okay. I, th I think we have all of our spell slots, though. I don't think. No, we I had to use one on Unseen Servant hmm. to rustle the damn bushes. Uh, <laughs> so, so as you guys are kind of looking at them, uh, you guys saw the picture. They have. Uh, you notice they have chainmail on. They have shields, and they They're drew. So tanky. Long swords. They're so tanky. Guys, they're almost as tanky as me. They are super tanky. Don't all tell right, them. Right. Don't tell them. 18 AC. Uh, I am going to move here. I am going to cast Heroism on <coughs> Elaine. Ooh, 10 page P. Do I get that, like, now? No, you get that. I, I think it's I think it's at the start of your turn, Gator. Alright. And I get up to your spellcasting modifier, which is 4? 3? My, uh, my spellcasting modifier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my spell attack bonus, right? Uh, no, that's my uh, that's my ability bonus. Yeah, it should be a charisma for you. It will be. It, it'll tell you if you yeah, have spells. Three. At the it'll top. be three. Oh. oh, oh, never mind. You're that's that's just your raw abilities. Okay, yeah. so I get plus three yeah. at the start of my turn. All right. Not bad. And you are three? immune to fear. Oh, Whoa. Lane doesn't get scared. <laughs> look at the oh yeah he's right he's just right. um you know what i'm also gonna use my bonus action to give you one of my inspiration die oh i see you moved right there is that a d6 it is a d6 yes and i can add it to anything you can add it to attacks you can add it to attack rolls damage rolls can i add, add it to my to... ac if i'm being attacked Yes, you can. Yeah, so basically you can add it to AC, and you can add it to the damage roll of a successful spell. Or health, if you heal, you can add it to the heal. Oh. 
So I can use it for like anything. Alright, pretty much. Uh, uh, Ronam, give us a little, give us a little flavor here. What does it look like when you inspire Elaine? Not the I, football I locker room. I next to him and I kind of like lean in and take a peek in the door. And I like lean in close and I pat him on the shoulder and I say, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I live for this. Yeah, I'm actually going to end here next to him. Okay. So just like barge through the wall and tackle You're... the goblin. Oh. Nah. I don't know. If it's, it's, it's crumbly, maybe. You keep thinking I'm a fighter. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bard who's built kind of like a fighter. But I'm you not a fighter. Get him, Erebus. And All Erebus right. turn. I'm going to walk up next to Elaine. Oh, no. Um, not an opportunity attack range. Yeah, can I see... What ones can I see? Can I see both of them? I, th I think you'd be able to see the one kind of towards the north. Okay. I just let you, like, crawl under my legs. <laughs> you, get down on your, you get down on, on, on your stomach, crawl between his legs, and fire off a shot like a sniper. <laughs> That's I'll, I'll, I'll be your shield. Casting Hunter's Mark on the one up north to attempt a shot at that man. Yo, kill him. It's one shot. <laughs> That, Ooh. that hits? You have All a plus right. seven that's so high. <laughs> yeah, it's my fighting style, man. Gets Heavy crossbow, extra. baby. Alright. Oh, oh, what was that? Uh, Hunter's mark. <laughs> it's sickening. Uh, 13. It's 13 damage. 13 points of piercing damage. <laughs> that's so much damage! What the and fuck? Then I'm dead. Uh, then I will it's probably not. An attack opportunity as I move back. I don't know, can he reach you? Because, like, there's a wall there. Oh, he's know. taking it. Oh, yeah. Uh, seven? Seven misses. Uh. I told you I'd protect you. It is the Hobgoblin's turn. Uh, you hear him yell something in Goblin. Shut up. Very loudly. Oh, uh, and no. you hear some. So much for stealth. Uh, Elaine, you would see that there is a door here, and there is oh, no. another curtain here. Shh. God, we're fighting you. Don't call your friends. We'll give you a goat. Oh, what are, these, what are these for? Oh, friends? Perhaps. Reinforcements already. Your friends want a goat. Perhaps. They got reinforcements. I knew I should have taken Shatter. <laughs> and then he is... He's going to come up here. Bro, just cast some large on Yo, I'm not gonna be able to fit in here. <laughs> Are you sure you guys don't want to go? Uh, he he swings and misses. Ooh, what'd he get? I need to get a seven. Oh, that hits. I'm, I'm... Oh, okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect. <laughs> is, is that a crit too? Does he have champion? <laughs> yeah, champion all the way down to a seven. Yeah, I, I I'm done for. I can't I can't fight these. Uh... Even good. <laughs> uh, and he is going to. Uh, he's gonna hang out right here. Uh, you hear right. some rustling behind the curtain. And some more shouting. Shut up. We're trying to be quiet here, guys. We're shouting at Goblin, and you see one charge through this curtain. Time I wish I'd comprehend language on. Uh, we don't need to know what they're saying, trust me. I think we get the gist of it. And he fires off a longbow shot at Elaine. He's not what are these rolls? I told what you. are these rolls? Believe in the you that believes in Elaine Hawthorne. Uh, he he misses. <laughs> it, it hits, uh, you see his arrow hit the wall, and it is Elaine's turn. Take temp HP, baby. Uh, how much is it, three? Yeah, it's just three. Yeah, That's three. a big deal to me. 32? <laughs> hey, man. Three temp HP is life or death. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm just gonna swing a sword at him. Should I? Uh, yeah. It's bonking time. Crit. Oh. Huh? Hey. You cut into him. Goblin blood. Got hobgoblin icker oozes out, uh, and he collapses. Hey. Do any of you want some of this? I got more. Oh god. So we've got the. Oh, wait, hold we on. We also have a goat. What's my? This is my goblin voice. Can I make it deeper? It's my goblin. Voice. This is my. This, uh, uh. Goblin just sound like Sylvester Stallone. Yes. Yes, we want. We want more of it. <laughs> come get some. You can't get. Come get me. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, Show me I'm what waiting. You got. 
<laughs> there we go. That's yeah, you're right. Show me what you got. All right, uh, Elaine. Anything else you'd like to do? It's my turn. All right, Hobgoblin turn. This Hobgoblin will step up over his. I can't believe you just tried to get me to waste the spell slots, dude. Well, I wanted you. I. <laughs> you have to tell me. I think whether you use it before or after, you find out if he's dead. It's not my fault. I mean, like, I mean, look. I know how to conserve. What the fuck? I am a. Why do, our, why do our fights always end up looking exactly like this? We're all just dominoes <laughs> stacked up in a different way. Because I'm place. the tank, and everybody just stands behind me and pokes through me, and then they kill stuff. I mean, it works. Uh, he misses. Yeah, Terribly. Of course he does. He's just, he's so distraught, his, his homie just got some... killed. You hear some rustling from behind, the, from the other room. Uh, lots of goblin shouting. I don't think they like us, guys. Uh, from where? Like the same. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, from the. We're gonna kill you all. Uh, and he's going to longbow. Stop using, stop using arrows. No, he misses. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> he just he he fumble, like fumbled completely fumbles it. Was trying to like rush through the gate. And it is it is Loki's turn. Ooh, okay. So. You get in there and breathe on Loki. Don't go in there. Actually, Just crawl through mm. all three of their legs. No, crawl under Erebus. Jump over Snowboo. <laughs> crawl under Elaine. No, no, no. This, get some this is, there. You don't, um, don't want a repeat of what happened last time. This is the one with the crossbow, yes. Both one. of them. Both the they both have shot longbow uh, the arrows have long at you. Bows. They both have longbows. I'm going to use kind of madness Ooh. on this creature. What does it do? Who are you casting this on? This one. The one on the back? Yeah. Right. So you see a crown of jagged iron appear uh, on his head. Uh, and his eyes begin to glow red. I and... want him to kill this one. Or attack that one. Which one? He shall attack this one that's right next to him. You see him kind of like turn and stare down at his uh, friendo. And Snowloo. Wait, did, did he fail the wisdom check? No, he... Yeah. Yeah, or yes, 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 he failed. What just Do happened? I really like things? You, yeah, you know what you know what these are. I believe they were in your backstory. They are. So you know exactly what they are. Yeah. Imagine being um, terrified of a hobgoblin. <laughs> Seeing that they're getting closer with a yelp, I'll throw a nice knife. I'm standing here. <laughs> right there. Like, not at the target, just right there. Are you gonna go throw a past fire? <clears throat> yeah, I can do that. I believe I'll just drop it. You can. You'll, you'll just miss the. If you intentionally yeah, miss, just... he just won't take the pierce. Line. You have to send it at a creature. If it hits me, it's fine. I, I'll take. It. I'll make the save. It's just right, no, just it just step up and just step up and toss it in the room. Snoodle's not gonna get closer. Well, no. it, it, just it, it says you have to. Of, just throw it at the one in front of Elaine. Yeah, just, just throw it at me, and it, I'll, is it gonna I'll hit the roll now as well? I'm behind, I think the we're all behind the wall, so I don't think oh. I'm doing it. I'm throwing at this one. That does not hit it. It clips the door. Uh, and does it so it still shatters? Yeah, it's, still, yeah, it's so still it's so good. It still shatters. Point where the so ice to... blows. Must succeed on deck. Saving throw or take 2D. Okay. That's terrible. <clears throat> I got a nut. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> does not care. I do a backflip and flip over the ice shards. Like uh, okay, so, so the the shards yeah, slam I... into the hobgobos. All right. Um, Snowloo will run away over here. Here, and... come back, Snowloo. Come back. <laughs> He's not dealing with this shit. Come back. Cast. Is it a bonus action? It is a bonus action. I'll use my healing spirit. I'll this be your shield. Just throw things at them. Right on top of uh, Elaine. It's on my head. Yes. It takes the form of a swarm of bees. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. oh god, not the Save bees. Not, not the bees. I don't the think it's... Healing he... bees. Right on, what would All you right. want? Is there the enough bees. room for me to move behind Elaine and attack through the doorway? You got over there. Yeah. Just, bees. You know, just under his legs. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, you just Hope start, forward. like, swinging I'm just, around. I'm just down there, like, jabbing at his toes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do that, and I will just take an attack with my little glavey poo here. Ka-chow! 
the chip. Oh damn. That hits. <laughs> Kablam. Okay. Oh, he just, he just like, stubbed his toe. Stabbed him in a stone. Just... Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the uh, goblins. <clears throat> and then I will use more movement to... Snowloo, come back. Nope. To... Elaine's pretty boosted. I'm gonna take a step back here and make room for other people. Okay. And then in my turn there. No. You have you have heroics, you have healing spirit, and you have an inspiration die. Jesus. Super thing, dude. <coughs> Fear me! Uh, bonus action, hunter's mark. Dirty twenty to hit. Such high AC, that hits. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's a poor Oh Lord. Seven points of piercing to this one. Double nat ones on the I'm just used to it. Bro. <clears throat> um. What the DM's not telling you is he actually spent three hours making backstories for each of these hobgoblins. <laughs> I, I thought I thought you were gonna talk them that quickly. to every we single tried one. To. We tried but, to, but they, but they pulled out their swords. They all got backstories, families, ambitions, dreams. I think that's your fault. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they would have a reason to kill us. We're just like. I, I, I waved to them. I was being nice. You're you the one that made them kill us. <laughs> Self-defense at that point. You're not a goblin. <laughs> I, so, says who? Well, how do they know what a goblin looks like? This is the end of my turn. Rad. All right, it is this goblin's turn. He's going to grip his long sword. He's going to give a little smooch. And he's going to take a big swing at you. 19 to hit. That does hit. Barely. <laughs> Finally the, hit the him! The bees are in my eyes. I can't walk properly. <laughs> uh, you're going to take eight slashing damage as his longsword cuts into you. And... You're like, you're like squatting the healing spirit. You're like, I can't see. I can't see. Nope, nope. Nope. Can't see, please. Wait, so can we get a mark on which one is affected by Crown of Madness? Oh, most certainly. <laughs> So that's the one that, uh, that's the one that Loki has control over. Okay. Yeah, and that's the one that's moving next. Yes. And the goblin has an uh, iron uh, barbed crown digging into his head, uh, and he's swinging wildly at the gobbo in front of him. Uh, he swings, uh, but he, he's trying to resist as hard as he can, and he doesn't quite hit. Uh, and then he's going to make his wisdom saving throw to snap out of it. And there he goes. God darn it! He, he as he swung and missed, his uh, his sword kind of hits the side wall, and it sort of snaps him back to attention. And he's like, "Ah, oh, what happened?" Uh, and Shut it up. is <laughs> no, <laughs> it's Lane's turn. Uh, All right, I get my HP. <laughs> uh, I appreciate, I appreciate uh, the uh, going to... the tip, man. Thank oh, you. Wait, is it Definitely look into it for days. sure. I have taken five damage from my max. I'm gonna heal him. A healing spirit. What you took? You took eight damage from the. I, I had temp HP, so I just minus. Ah, uh, gotcha. So oh yeah, so get. Five from my I get got your, my temp HP yeah, back. get your temp HP back. All right, so I wanna. I wanna fire <laughs> so danky. Wait, there, did you so he, did you heal back with the? Yeah, I wanna heal you though. First. Uh, well, do, can you do it whenever you want? It says yeah, first yeah. Your turn, you yeah, you start it, your yeah. turn in the same space as me. Do you wanna heal no, the hot goblin? What is it? How much is it healing for? Do I roll a D6? I think oh, Snowloo's yeah, got it. Okay. That works too. There you go. Uh, I'm, I'm full health. <laughs> and, and tempt off. <laughs> they're so, they're so tanky! I'm gonna fire breath all three of these guys. Do it. Breath attack. Ooh. <laughs> eh, it's better than nothing. Uh, why? I can't, I can never get a good roll on my breath attack. <laughs> I'm so sad. Every time. What's the dice on it? It's a D6. Two D6. And I got two. I got two twos. Uh, okay, we're going to start the one closest to you, and I'll just go to the ones furthest away. They're from, so from left to right. Oh, first one is going to take the full brunt of that breath attack. Full four damage. Oh, the second one's taking the full. And the back one just is just able to kind of get out in time uh 
Okay, so the one the one in front of you is now looking really hurt. Alright. And as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself. Uh, so you're now at 20 AC? 21. The goblin is going to yell, or the hobgoblin is going to yell something at goblin to the other two, uh, and you see them nod. Uh, and he's going to make a swing at you. Big swing. Uh, big 13. It hits the, uh, your... Your, uh, My your, glimmering your, dark field of your, raven energy. Yeah. Your swirling dark raven like shield. It's just like feathers falling. Um He looks he looks a little worried. You said you wanted some? Where's it at? <laughs> I don't like what you got. Uh the other <laughs> one uh is gonna make a dash down. Not da he's not gonna not sorry not a not a not a real he's dashing that's his action not not a regular dash uh <laughs> he's no, gonna he's letting out snowflake and you see him throw open the door no no <laughs> and you hear a large roar snowflake. oh it's that south tower great as soon as I saw him run to it I knew it <clears throat> maybe we should gone there first. So just cra just cast Crown of Madness on Snowflake. Um, but I coming from the Snowflake. tower. Snowflake probably has a pretty low wisdom, so. No, it's it's not. If it's humanoid, yes. If it's not, no. No, it has to be humanoid. Can I please? Yeah. Can I please? That's trash. I know, right? I don't think Snowflake is humanoid. Can I please? They might be. We gotta no. see. You never judge a book by its cover. There it goes. What do we see, Steve? Is he gonna like rip like a hobgoblin's head off? Uh, you see the hobgoblin get thrown against the wall. Oh no! Oh, run away! Oh no! Run away. No, I got, I got this, guys. Don't worry. Uh, this. and it, you see him crumple to the ground. Oh, yeah, he, no, he, he was dead in the Oh my Look, god! Oh my god. <laughs> guys, we got this. Believe in me. Not like this. I'm the tank. I have a healing spirit on me. We got it. We just constantly just pump healing spells into a lane. Eventually it'll die. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the... I mean, I can heal myself, too. I can heal myself, like, three times. You're, you're casting Sacred Flame? <laughs> on this one right here. Yes. Okay. Uh, In front, yes. Don't remember what damage was. It's a saving throw. That won't be it. <laughs> uh, he, he's armor, able to avoid extra. your, uh... Your flame of sacredness. <laughs> um, I'll move save me. and point at the uh, goblin screaming, "He's still not dead! Why is he not dead?" And uh, use my sling. No, Lou, Snowflake's gonna kill me. Is it on the it's... roof? I'm guessing it's on the roof. No, it's, it's, it's roof. inside here. Yeah, yeah it's still on the roof. No, I'm guessing he's indoors. Yeah, he's, he's inside. Yeah. yeah, we're indoors. All right, back tactic it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think that hits. It just hits. <coughs> Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, you you crack him real good on the noggin, uh, and he uh he dies. Yo, just, he lets out he, one gas <laughs> gasp of surprise before he. Falls back. I'll just back out. Very pleased with myself. Yay, Snow Loo! I knew yeah, you that's could gonna do be it. my turn. Oh my god, you hit him so hard he like flew out the window. <laughs> I'm just trying to get him out of the way. There's just like a lot of stuff. We got a lot of yeah. corpses already. This yeah. is our plan. We just funnel a door and they can't kill us. Uh, actually, here I'll. Rule 20 is really not working for me today. <laughs> yeah, just line them up. I'm just going to put them out here, just so you guys remember that there are bodies, because I know you guys like to... Guys, get ready. Snowflake is coming for me. Get real friendly. Um, okay. Hey, they don't need that gold through armor anymore. Uh, you guys... So you guys hear one more <laughs> loud roar uh, as Snowflake emerges from the tower. Oh, no. Um... I knew this day would come. <laughs> Take me, God. Uh, you hear you hear wood splintering as it forces its way out. 
Why didn't you just open the door, Snowflake, if you could do that? Because uh, one of the doors open, now it's squeezing its body out. Quick, cast Reduce on Snowflake. But it's a constitution save, it's probably really constituted. Cast Enlarge on me and I'm gonna suplex Snowflake, that's all. Do it. Do it. Okay, but you lose your temp HP. That's fine. <sighs> but what, no, well, first we need to see how big it is. I think it, well, it's uh, definitely an owl there. I just didn't okay. say anything. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I'm suplexing it. Do it. Suplexing it. Yeah, we're we're gonna need that. Oh my I'm suplexing it. As this large, massive, bear-like creature with an owl-like face emerges from the tower. It's a final boss. <laughs> oh my god! Like Elaine, you are the first thing that it sees. Uh, as it as it comes out slightly closer than this said hobgoblin, uh, it turns and it's going to it's going to attack at you with its beak. Hit my twenty one AC. I dare you. Okay. And as uh, let's see. I take it back. The doorway and I turn to snow and I was like, make it friendly, make it friendly. Uh, it it what? isn't quite able to find purchase with its beak on your uh, on your armor. Not multi attack. So it gives up on that. Swings his claws at you. Uh, again, just sort of raking across your armor, not uh, not able to do any damage. Wait, can Ronom actually make a lane bigger? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. It is Ronom's turn. Mono I, guess, mono. I guess I'll move back up. <laughs> I wanted to suplex an owl bear more in my life. Nobody, <laughs> I'm not going to stop you from trying. I'll clap an owl bear's cheeks. Was he uh, large or is it huge? It is. Uh, it, it is large. So I, if you, if you cast ah, large okay, on me, okay. it'll make me large. Yeah. And then I can fight it with my bare hands. <laughs> but it has owl bear hands. But I can Blue. suplex it. It can't stop me if I suplex it. You could you could definitely grapple it if you wanted to. Cast, cast it large on me next there. turn. Get inside the room and then I'll cast it. I will, well, he's got to move. But I have a plan for that, don't worry. Okay, I cast Bane. It's 1d4 on attack throws. If he saves against it. Look, it's real cute. Charisma score of a million. Oh my god. They do have a plus. We can't beat it. It looks like it's uh, it's about to kind of like fall under your spell, and it sort of shakes itself. Like it's shaking it you. off. It's fine. It's, it's fine. We'll deal with it. It's fine. Right. You just make me bigger when I get in there. Is the owlbear going to get two turns since it, like, it attacked and then it got moved up in the turn order? It sure did. That's trash. <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's fine. I end my turn there. Okay, Erebus. I'm shifting the Hunter's Mark over to the Owlbear. Let's see if I hate Snowflake. What? Be a he just time. tried to kill me. Look how cute he is. I'm going to suplex Snowflake. Oh, and he's going to like... He's so charismatic. I had no idea. He's so muscular too. 12 to hit. Definitely. Uh, it is going to swat your crossbow bolt out of the air. Okay. And You're making it mad. Let's out a big... Let's out a roar. It like uh, slobber... Owlbear it's... Slobber. All just base. all over a lane. Stop making a man! And then it goes, hoot hoot, motherfucker. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that will be my turn. Uh, Owlbear's turn. It's going to try and take another little, little, little... Can, can we get a voice for the Owlbear? Like a, like a, like oh, I try oh. to do like a deep hoot. <laughs> <laughs> hoot hoot, motherfucker. I can't, I can't do it deeper than Erebus can. Me, owlbear. Beak attack! No! Claw attack! Crit. Oh boy! Uh... <laughs> it's just like trying to chew and claw uh, on your barrier. Your your uh, your shield of faith. And I just can't seem to get through it. I'm tanky. Alright, it's my turn. Disgusting. I can't believe I can't hit. Alright, uh, I'm going to drop concentration on my shield of faith and cast thunder smite. 18 hits. And he gets knocked back ten feet and takes an extra two d six thunder strength save, or he gets pushed ten feet away. So it's been it's been living in that little tower for a little while. That thunder oh, really go. threw it off, and it gets pushed back. Yeah, he's more charismatic than he is. I'm going Those in. Muscles. Those muscles are just for show. And I'm using my movement to move forward into the room. Now I can get large. Absolutely bonkers. And, uh, that's my turn. I have uh, already. You know, I use right, my bonus make, action. Make sure my action. Make sure you take your temp HP back, too. Uh, I didn't lose it, so I still have full. Okay, this Hobgoblin is going to disengage. 
and run he back. He just, we just collapsed this bugbear. Yeah, oh, he is prone. prone. The bear's prone. Yeah. Quick, get crits on him. <laughs> Kick it. Go stab him. I'm usually thinking of putting on true strike so I can figure out so I can get night chase when I use the edge blast. Not night. true strike. Oh. Loki's turn. I use true strike on bugbear. I thought true strike is all caps. The true. <laughs> you can tell it's not lying. And Snowloo. Um, yeah, Albert is prone, so it can't make opportunity attacks if you want to like run up and stab him. Let's see. Well, or can, can it make opportunity attacks if it's prone? No. It can still oh. make opportunity attacks. Never mind. Oh, Snowloo will take cool. a peek inside the room and see like there's no more Ankh goblins. Throw a rock at see. it. And Good. he's gonna go. <clears throat> Can I go in? Um, from up close, can I uh, can I see if it's like a beast? Question mark. I think it's not, but I think Albert's up. No. I mean, that's a pretty damn good. Do you want to roll like a nature check to see? I would love to. No, you can use that. You can use your bonus action if you want to like investigate this creature. I guess. Not twenty. <laughs> That's close enough. It's terrifying. It's yeah. It's it's uh. It's terrifying. It's classified as terrifying and scary. It's actually a terrasque. <laughs> and it it's looks awesome. real hungry. It's, I it that is one thing you can a fur suit. One thing you notice is it looks hungry. Oh. And it's licking its little beak. It look hungry. Pet it. Feed it. <laughs> claim it. <laughs> I'm casting good berry. Likes and the taste I want of to mud. feed a good berry to the fall bear. Yo, Wait, that's awesome. I We're want to cast a hungry. good berry and feed the fall bear one good berry. No, don't heal it and give it HP back. Well, you should have gave him normal that's food. One. Why good berry? <laughs> because it's sustaining. It's like you feel full for a whole day. Oh, man, what do you mean? If he tries to kill us, I don't think the DM's gonna let it work that way. Good berry in chat for me, just for the folks at home, because like I mean, I definitely know what well, it means. It's only one, it's one, one, one HP. And he'll feel full, even though it's only one good berry. So you know maybe what? he'll love us. Yeah, do it. It's, it's, it's not how, one. Eight. Let's see how he responds. He'll love us. <laughs> if, it, if it was like a life cleric at level 17 casting a 9th level cure wounds on it, that's completely different. <laughs> Yeah, it's just... I thought it was like a D4 or something. Yeah, I no, thought it was no. like a D6 or something. If it's now, one now HP, that I remember just it. go for it. Just I will test. let you make an animal handling check with advantage. <gasps> oh my god. Well, can, does he get double advantage because I'm here? It doesn't. It, it doesn't like you, so now now it's now they're taking triple disadvantage. <laughs> it uh hungrily eats up the good berry. Uh, and it, go on, go on. It kind of like sits on its haunches, and stares at you. Uh, it just sort of waits. Pet it. I'll carefully I'll approach Give him the whole bear, with like my my hands with like a bunch of good berries, like nine left, and carefully give it like offer it another one. Uh, it, it lets you approach. Uh -huh. And it eats, it eats, it eats the good berry. I'll go for a pet. Okay, it lets you, it lets, it lets you pet it, but it's staring at the good berries. Uh, can I do something here? Uh, you, you've got a free action if you want to chit chat. I would like to play a, a, a little song here, if that's okay. You know, it, it's like the the bear from SpongeBob. It doesn't like music. <clears throat> what? It's the. Sea it's like bear. the sea bear. Quick draw circle. Quick draw circle. Um, hey, may I, can I play a little tune here? You can you can play a tune, but like we're we're still in combat. We're still in combat. <laughs> so like, I'll wait then because it's if we're still adhering to combat, I'll wait. Okay. So I gave it. Uh, well, I can like hold the berries. Just like give it the rest of them. Just, yeah, like just prepare an action to, to give it more berries or something. Yeah. Or to pet okay. it. Prepare an action to pet it if it takes another one. We already pet it. Yeah, I think you've I used. I think you've used your action and your bonus action already. 
It's, yeah, it's gonna feel so full after eating all these good berries. <laughs> I guess that's gonna be it then. Um, oh yeah, I can talk to it. That's like no more action and stuff. All right, sounds good. It is Ronam's turn. I am going to. Don't hurt him. I am going to use the. I'm going to ready to play my magical ornate bugle and my magical bugle that was gifted to me in my dream dream bugle <clears throat> and I, I'll I'm going to ready it for the next attempt that Snowloo makes to interact Handle with the bug bear I will be offering actually you know what yeah I'll do it from right here I will be okay. offering help to him oh Okay. By, by playing a gentle, soothing, low horn, sweet, jazz music, low five beat, toot. Just a just a nice calming toot on the bugle. I'm just gonna do that, and that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Uh, Erebus. All right. <coughs> I'm going to move 10, 15, 20 feet up into the room above us, seeing that they. Yeah have this thing covered um, idea. <laughs> I'm just going to hold my action uh, with the crossbow bolt if any bugbear or non-allied creature other than the owl bear come through the through this door okay be my turn owl bear is just gonna kind of hit snowloo and try and eat another berry Will you, will you resist the chomp on the berry? No. Okay. It takes off your arm. It, uh, it chomps on another another good berry, and that's its action. I'm so hungry. So cute. It is adorable. And it is Elaine's turn. Yeah. What would Elaine like to do? I'm going to <clears throat> scooch past the owl bear very carefully as to not alarm it. <clears throat> I'm going to peek inside the curtain here. Uh, you look through the curtain, and you see the hobgoblin kind of in a defensive stance in front of the door. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna look back at the owl bear and make sure he's eating before I go in to see if he will attack me, and I will walk one into the door. Okay, uh, the owl bear seems enthralled <laughs> by the, uh, good berries. And I'm gonna walk up to this goblin. I'm assuming you have an action ready to attack me. I do! <laughs> <laughs> With my 19 AC, let's see if he kills me. No, he doesn't even hit you. Great. Uh, then I am going to stab him. That doesn't hit. We just we just stare at each other. Yeah, you guys just you just stare at each other. You guys had a little. How was your day? A sore fight. Good until you you came, you jerk. What do you mean you jerk? You stabbed us. Look right back at you. This is what happens when two paladins fight each other. You're just, you guys have swords lock. And you guys are just there staring into each other's eyes. You guys are it's just like really half-heartedly poking each other. You're I'm like, thinking it is a little break. <laughs> I'm like Dark Souls rolling on the floor to die. It's like, it's like, it's like a very over, it's like I'm very over-encumbered Dark Souls roll. So you're back around of Loki. Huh? I need to hurt him? Not the owlbear. I go next to Snowloom, and I quite literally just ask like, you need help feeding this owlbear? If I can, what? You need help feeding the owl there? Um, I'm doing alright. Seems mm -hmm. to like me so far. <laughs> and I end my turn. We are back around to Snowloo. What is Snowloo gonna do? Down to six more berries. <laughs> That's like threatening. Um, He's gotta be feeling some kind of full. Since I've got this, I'll try to communicate with it. Ask him, uh, if he's doing okay, like if the, he's got like any injuries, what's his name? Does he like me? Does he like me? <laughs> Free on Thursday night. <laughs> Look, you can combine this ability with gifts to curry favor with them. He loves us now. I'm gonna call him Snowflake. He just he just kind of blinks and stares at you. It's very intelligent. It's beat. <laughs> it oh. seems like he doesn't understand. I still love you no matter what you are, Snowflake. <laughs> You said you hated Snowflake. 
Like not. I hated him when he was trying to rip my arm off, dude. Just, just use it. Just sitting there is amazing. Snowy, just use it to say like, <coughs> even if he doesn't understand, just use it to say like, comforting words or friendly words or something. You're safe. Yeah, yeah. like I'm trying my best to keep it calm, give him some berries. Uh, yeah, just staring at the berries. Gentle pats. And of tell, course, tell like, him all he... these berries are his. I don't think you understand me, you know. No, but he can, he'll eat them anyway. He'll flick his mouth a party mascot. <laughs> was He's gonna live in Fandor. I mean, it says most beasts don't lack the intelligence that can well, understand he's not, sophisticated he's not a beast. concepts. He, he's not a beast. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be a beast. If he doesn't understand he's me, he's probably so, a know, monstrosity. I'll, I'll just ask him, like, who's a good boy and give him another berry, of course. Okay. He, he eats it up. I'm gonna round with berries. <laughs> Quick, get the rations out. <laughs> I, I can't. I well, we, yeah. I don't want to spend like five turns uh, feeding him berries, though. What if you just give him all the berries at once? <coughs> I'm rounding low on options. Well, I can. I, well, I don't think. I, can. I mean, I set I, down. I know he'll like just murder me after you feed him. Like, set down the berries. Can I feed him all of the berries at once? I don't... It does say like one action. Yeah, I think it's one for action berry. for berry. Yeah. I, we we I kind of let you give him two on the first one. Uh, you do <laughs> you do have your you do have my health die. You have you, you have, have a... advantage if you do want to make some sort of check like another animal handling check. Or something. Yeah. You've got movement. You got bonus action. Roll that one and like die. Can I do an animal handling like keeping it calm, making you like more my side? To show him that, like, we're not a trend at all. Uh, yeah, go for it. Wait. Is it gonna be advantage? Mm -hmm. I will bear some love. Okay. Oh, juicy. It's two. Two, uh. Okay. It, uh. Yeah, it's just, it's just kind of like sitting on its haunches. It's gives, so comfortable. Gives, gives you, like, it just licks you with its owlbear tongue. Hey, we made a friend. Juicy. Uh, and, and then it just immediately goes back to staring at the berries. <laughs> Since uh, feeding it is an action, can I drop the berries on the floor and like its feet or whatever? He doesn't like yes. eating them off the floor. Right. You can. Can I fairly like drop the, the berries down? Okay, now it's staring at the berries on the floor. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's hungry. That's gonna be you it. I'm the just bending the bend in the whole bear. Okay. I whispered to Snow, "Great job, you got this," and I go this way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll scream if anything. Is this door open or closed? Uh, it is closed. You would probably hear me and the goblin like shouting at each other. It's fine. Um, I don't know if you actually would. Probably actually, not. where was I? Uh. uh I was You're right, right here. I'm, I'm gonna go like this. Can I move diagonally right here? I don't think I can. And no, because that wall's in your way. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. You should be able to move diagonally. From here to you can here. always just dash. Can, you know what? I will dash. I'll take my turn. I'll use my action to dash. And I'll just dash here. I'll, I'll zip around the corner here to here. Bash open the door. Okay. And stop right here. Okay, you see uh, Elaine and uh, Hobgoblin uh, locked in battle. Yeah, yeah, battle, right. S staring at each oh, other's quick, eyes. Quick, act, act like we were fighting. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like, hey, what's going on in here? Puts away his, like, dice. Yeah, we're <laughs> sipping on tea. <laughs> Tea's out. Neither of you guys look bloody. What are you doing? Uh, uh, we're trying. We can't hit each other, so we decided uh, to take break. <laughs> Erebus. All right, doors uh, open, Erebus. Okay. Breaking concentration of my hunter's mark on the owl bear. I'm reapplying it onto there, so I burn another spell slot. Oh my God! So many spell slots. Uh, there we go. Uh, bonus action there. I'm going to take a shot. Okay. That twenty. Oh. That is not wow. gonna do it. He's uh, it comes just like don't interrupt our team. I'm like. <laughs> Batter zero to side with his uh his shield. 
Um, I've got I've got something going with this this dragonborn. I think he thinks I'm cute. Oh. Oh, sorry. Well, that's <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Let's move five feet closer, and that'll be my turn. Say that. Okay, the owl bear is going to use its action to eat another berry. Now there are four left on the ground, as it happily crunches down on uh, berries that, if I remember right, don't taste like mud. <laughs> That's right. Elaine. <clears throat> oh, it's my turn again. I am going to uh, grapple this hobgoblin. Okay, make me an athletics check. 12. As you wrap your arms around him, uh, it just kind of like pushes you back a little bit, and you're not quite able to, to grapple him. It's so close. Wait, are you guys fighting? Or... Thanks. <laughs> uh, it, it's not what it looks like. I'm trying to restrain him, <laughs> I promise. Uh, how are we turn? Uh, and, and now now he's like, he's nervous. Kind of fumbling with his sword a little bit. Uh, this is just people watching. Uh, sword attack. Uh, he gets a 20. A 20? Yes, sir. Come down, Hob. I thought he was nervous. <laughs> Slashing damage as he cuts into you. Uh, uh, you got me. He's just like, yeah, he's, just, he's gonna whisper like, sorry, friend. Uh, <laughs> it's Loki's turn. Don't worry. <laughs> I think they bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Loki's turn. Oh, how is this bugbear looking at me? He's not, he's only, he's just staring at the berries. Mm. He's an owl bear. Don't cut out his heart. I don't do anything. Because if I try moving to Elaine, he'd probably take as high as opportunity on me. And no, I'm I think, no, because Elaine already walked past him. You should be okay if you come into the room behind yeah, Elaine. Yeah, he's super busy. Okay, then I do that. Uh, you see Elaine and uh, a hobgoblin in front of him kind of locked in combat. I'll just blast. Oh no, wait. My thing was on advantage because I planned on shooting the bugbear, but the bugbear was in. Imagine getting the six. I mean, you yeah, still got true strike. I just always take the left one. No, well, he, he, he put true strike oh, on, the, on the Yeah, bear. he put it on the owlbear. Uh, Alright, so with the six, you don't you don't hit. The blast kind of just flies over this hobgoblin's shoulder. It loops around and hits the owlbear. That's what <laughs> I gotta remember to heal the owl bear for every good mm -hmm. bear he eats. Stolu. The owl bear is happily munching on good berries on the floor. There are four good berries left. Uh, I'll say, <laughs> just stay right there. I'll be, I'll be right back. Just go over here and use my sling. Okay. He might have information. Do you want to capture him? I was trying. He's too, he's too slippery. Darn. I don't think I was is... trying my hardest. No, I, I can't get true if you want him. I'll go over here. Uh, yeah, I'm surrounded. Uh, I'll try and knock him out with my dagger in this case. Okay. <laughs> you just deflects your uh, your dagger attack. They're too strong. Rona, I'm They're trying to so scare good. him into submission with your expertise. Stab him into submission? He's... No, scare him. He's surrounded. You can like <coughs> intimidate him. Your trademark. Uh, uh Ronam's turn. Okay. Uh, I mishear him, and I think he hears. I think no! I hear Elaine say, "Stab him into submission." No. <laughs> oh my god. Is that hits? Ninety-five slashing. Oh. <laughs> No, he could have had <laughs> useful info. Sorry. Birdie inside, we don't need more info. We do. We don't even know where the fancy room is. It's behind the door he's guarding. What does it look like uh, as you stab Elaine's uh, newfound friend? I say sorry. And you kill him. <laughs> and, and, and you you kill him. I crumple onto my knees and I pick up his dead body and I just look up and say, Wah! <laughs> I'll buy you an ale in the next life. <coughs> he was so young. Yes. I'll see you in Valhalla. Why are we trying to hug everyone? Uh, all right. I'm gonna drop us out of initiative for now. Drop kick the bugbear. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. No, no, no. 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 You, you misheard, no. Steve. You misheard. No. I said hug. Lead the, hug lead the bugbear to, 
Lead the bugbear to freedom. Yeah, we, yeah, should, we should, we should probably like let him out. No, so Lou, lead him to freedom. Blue. There has to be yeah. a way for him to get out. They got him in here. They got to be able to get him out of here. You might need to make it like smaller. <laughs> I don't know if it fits. I, I don't. I don't think he'll like me. Well, we can bring him through here and then him through the the hole. That's probably how they got him in here. The hole is like huge. Yeah, we can Maybe they got him in like here. a BB. I think they got him in through. <coughs> yeah. Oh. I think right. they got him in through over here. Somewhere. I mean, all we gotta do is get him through one door and he can as, go over here. As you guys are discussing, it eats another berry. Down <laughs> no, to three. Quick, go back. I'm going back in Comfort the room. It. Go, 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 Snow, uh, Snow Lou, I'm right behind you. Comfort it. Oh. You guys, you guys guard the, you guys guard this door right here. The I'm gonna put my... Is there oh. a door there? Yes. Yeah, he was guarding the door. That's the fancy room. We know it. Why would he? Oh, it, it looks like that. just a watchtower. It has like arrow slits in the walls. We know that the, we know that it's at the back. Maybe. I'm I'm casting good berries again. Just okay. Letting letting him like eat the one on the floor and casting. Good what berries if we make a trail of berries down. that go outside? And we okay, while well, he's doing that, Ooh, I'm gonna oh, slip past him very carefully, and I'm gonna take a little peek through the the area into the area that the bugbear shattered out of. Uh, so this this tower, the upper floors inside of it have collapsed. Uh, so there's just kind of a hollow silo silo that just kind of goes up all the way up to 30 feet until it kind of hits the top of the tower, like the roof. Uh, the room is completely cast in shadows. There's dust, rubble, uh, broken glass covering the floor. There's old work tables and bookshelves lying strewn about. There are sort of like dirty rags and stuff covering the inside of the arrow slits in this tower. Uh, keeping it keeping it dark inside. Okay, I am going to step into the room uh, and look around. Is that is that the only entrance into this tower? Yep. Oh no, we gotta take him along. Man. Okay. Um, I'm gonna while he's doing that, I'm gonna lay on hands myself for any help. Okay. Uh, Snowloo, what are you what are you doing about the buck? What are, what are you or sorry? What are you? What, here, what's I'm your plan? Step, I'm gonna step back out to here and I'm gonna tell Snowloo we have to we have to get we should try and get the bugbear out of here. The before, we, before we run out of berries. The which berries. direction though? Probably like north. That, I feel like that right. hole would be like can, big can to we get see out. like uh, where it can yeah, fit? Like, it, it would it would squeeze through that hole. Oh, it can it can go through the doors. Okay. Well, I'll. Start uh, yeah, I, I, I tell Snow to maybe just take him out the way we came in. Yeah, that sounds good. And I, I, I've got like a handful of good berries and just waiting for him yeah, to be yeah. done and whenever that's... I, I step back to give him room. Yeah. He's uh, just that's <laughs> stepping on the goblin corpses as he walks through the door. I'll make sure that he sees like more berries in my hand, but like, I'm all tried to leave him so as soon as he out. as soon as he finishes the berries he kind of growls and looks up uh and then it immediately catches that you have more berries and he'll oh wait no not that what the heck see that's the fire please the fire the berries. Fire's chasing me. <laughs> and he's gonna he'll follow you out snowloo all right kind of he, well, he kind of make like a little like nips at you with his beak to try and get a berry out of your hand it's hungry <laughs> yeah whenever he wants one i'll give it one and just slowly right. but surely make it out <laughs> okay going yeah. I'm, right behind, I'm right behind you buddy that's what i say right behind you, buddy. oh yeah if i see snow coming i'm gonna be like oh yeah. <laughs> i'm trying my best i'm gonna loot these goblin corpses as well yeah, you guys, they you drag guys them off. there's three so by, by the time he gets outside he would have kind of nipped the last berry out of your hand uh and notices it's outside it's gonna look at you kind of give you like a little nudge with its little owlbear face and it's gonna oh. run off into the woods i love Bye. you i wave at it I'm naming it Pancake. <laughs> I wipe a little tear. We'll meet again. <laughs> and Snowflake is. I'm, I'm, I'm is just gone. on my knees crying in this room as I know I'll never see him again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I killed your friend. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no, you're talking about. No, the I'm owl talking bear. about the owl. Bear. Okay, that's okay then. <laughs> the owl bear. <laughs> they have such good memories when I blast slammed you into the wall. Oh, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna loot these three guys while, they out, while they're leading the owl bear out. Okay. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna loot Elaine's lover in here. <laughs> Oh, uh, leave him be, let him yeah, rest. It's gonna be a little litter. <laughs> We're soulmates. To my dearest <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> I love you. They just, we, I, know, I know we just met, but the moment that we locked swords, I knew that you were the one. He'd already wrote a love note. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs>
It was love at first sword draw. You see, you wrote that so fast. Like, of them in a... All right. Uh, so I need. Do I need to roll like investigation for these guys in flood? Uh, no, sir. I'm just. <laughs> you're you're thinking of the love letter the guy has. It's okay. <laughs> They don't have much on them. They've got their chainmail. They have their long swords, their long bows, some arrows. Uh, but other than that, they don't seem to have any kind of goodies. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, we are playing this live on Twitch on Friday night. So feel free to come stop by the stream uh, to see what kind of shenanigans the party gets up to as it happens live. Three of our party members are also fellow streamers. I have links to their Twitch pages down below. If you think they're funny, if you loved them, please, please, please go drop them a follow. You won't regret it. And we hope to catch you next time.